Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nisha and I'm back with another video. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and become a part of Nisha Nation. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. today's video you guys will be getting ready with me for the first day of my internship yes I did get the internship at my local police department and tomorrow is Monday June 24th so tomorrow is my first day of the internship and it's literally five minutes barely five minutes actually from my house so I will be driving there and I will say the driving part is the only thing I'm really nervous about. Um, I'm not really nervous about like the internship itself or meeting with new people and meeting with the people that's going to be guiding me through this internship experience. But I do have to drive there and a part of my criminal justice program because I am a criminal justice major at Lamont One College. Um, I am required to do a minimum of 100 hours so I'm really going to be doing this internship for a few weeks so most likely it'll be over with before I even start my senior year in the fall but I will be getting ready for the first day of my internship so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started with the video okay guys so this is my outfit for tomorrow this is the blouse that i got from ross and then these are the pants to go with the blouse that i got from tj maxx um and i don't have my shoes out just yet but i will give you guys a full look of the outfit when i have it on tomorrow but this is the outfit and then coming over here i do have a notebook that i'm going to be taking with me mainly to like jot down notes um you know from stuff that they say and i'm gonna go ahead and put tomorrow's date on it but this is also for me to log everything that I pretty much do during the internship. So I do have this notebook here. I'm gonna have to log what I do on a daily basis and also how many hours I worked for that day and that week. So I do have this small notebook. And then I also have my fanny pack that's going to be around my waist. Um, I'm not going to be taking like any big purses because it's probably not going to be any room for that stuff. Um, but I do have this small fanny pack which also came from Ross. So in here I just have my wallet. Um, and then I also have a pencil for my notebook. And then I also have a pen just in case I have to like sign or fill out, you know, any kind of like legal documents that I obviously can't do with a pencil. Um, so I do have a pen and a pencil and then in the back zipper compartment back here I just have my keys and then also have my chapstick and I'm also going to be bringing along extra batteries for my camera although I won't be able to record you know inside the police department anyway um, but leading up to me arriving to the police department I will be recording like me driving there um, so I will be putting extra batteries back there and then you guys know I can't really leave the house without my lotion and my spray however it's gonna be too much room in my fanny pack or it's not gonna be enough room in my fanny pack for these two so I'm just have to leave these in the car because in my fanny pack I'm also have my phone and my camera just because I don't want to leave you know my camera in my car um, but yeah, so this is what I'm going to be taking with me, except that's going to be staying in my car. And then I have my phone, of course, I'm going to be putting inside of here. I'm going to have to change the phone case because my phone case, I'm going to take it off now because my phone case is too big. Um, but I'm going to have to put a different case on my phone. 
but this is pretty much everything that I'm gonna be taking with me tomorrow just gonna keep it light um, so this is gonna be around my waist and then I just got this small little notebook
okay guys so i am back home already it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now i actually came back home a little bit after 12 o'clock um and i went in at like eight so for the first week i'm supposed to be doing like ride alongs with police officers and then like the next week i'm supposed to be um like overshadowing the detectives and dispatch and then furthermore into the internship um i'll be going along with them to like the jails and the courts and see how all of those things operate um but for the most part the internship program manager is pretty flexible um like the person over the internship program is pretty flexible with the interns they say that we can honestly make up whenever we want to come in like if we want to come in on let's say like a tuesday at 9 a.m then we could but for me i really just want to go ahead and get it over with so for the most part for this first week i'm going to go in every day do ride alongs at least like every day uh, for the rest of this week and then pretty much the same for next week also except for fourth of july because fourth of july is like next thursday i think um and then pretty much after that um i'm just gonna have to tell the person over the internship program like how i want the rest of my internship to basically like map out so they're pretty flexible with the hours you know as long as you get your hours in and like i said today i think i did for the most part four hours um but like i said they are pretty flexible so that is the good thing about this internship and with me having to do like a minimum of 100 hours it shouldn't take me too long um the only thing that's really going to kind of like push me back a little bit is this summer class that i have to take in july because had i not have to take that i'll pretty much be done with it by the end of july um but since i do have to take this summer class in july then that does hinder me a little bit but the police department is literally five minutes from my house so for this week um mostly i'm going to be going in like every morning at eight o'clock um today technically was like a half day um because i had to come back and like fill out some paperwork and then after that they let me go so tomorrow i'll be going in at 8 a.m hopefully tomorrow i'll be able to do the ride along a little bit longer um because like i said i was pretty much done like by 12 o'clock um and i was back at home before 12 30 so hopefully tomorrow and for the rest of the week i can ride a little bit longer for like the ride alongs but far as the first day it was a lot better than i expected like i said they are flexible so basically they'll be working on my schedule like i just have to tell them when i want to come in what days i want to come in when i'm not going to be coming in um and unless something is like seriously wrong where i don't have to come in like outside of the summer class i'm gonna be coming in every single day so i can get my hours but like i said they are really really flexible and i'm really glad they accepted me into their internship program um because the police department is literally five minutes from my house so with that being said the first day of my internship was a success thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe and help me reach my goal of two thousand subscribers stay tuned for more content and i'll see you guys in my next video bye